It's a bigger one. And I learned the hard way because I've already bought one of these. It's got bones. So you be careful. When you're looking at boneless turkey breast on Walmart, they will start to suggest other things to you. And if you're not paying attention, you buy one of them. You'll get one of these. All right. Let's get this thing open up and go from there. We'll be right back. Now, I don't know if you saw my Cajun video, but I'm going to basically do something very similar. I'm going to cut at the tippy top here because remember that gravy packet could be like right here. This guy's actually still very frozen because we took him out of the freezer a couple days ago. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to have to cook this on high. We're going to mix that gravy packet with some soups here to get us a thick gravy. So, let's get that going. I'll show you how that looks here in a second. I must admit that it being frozen presents a challenge. Now, usually that gravy packet is to the right or the left of the turkey it's not inside of it like this another reason you don't ever want to buy this kind is because you got to dig stuff out of it and when it's frozen that's hard also notice there's no net and no seasoning but that's okay we're gonna get our own seasoning here so i'm gonna try and dig this out of the bag i just wanted to show you that dilemma there okay it took a lot of what's the word finagling i basically had to do a lot of that uh, ooh, it's a bigger packet than we're used to because it's a bigger turkey. Ha ha ha. Okay, so we're just going to set that aside for a second. We'll come back to you. Oh, God, what else is there to dig out of this thing? <laughs> okay. Let the fun begin. My next dilemma is kind of a big one because this turkey is so big that... It barely hit with the lid like it touches the top there and uh, when I had it on its other side it actually didn't close which is weird but whatever all right now we're gonna put some soup all right it went from gravy packet concentrate to frozen gravy slushy and so now we'll just toss that we never follow those directions folks <laughs> what we're gonna do here try to water this down a little bit yes um I need to get all this going, man. I'm eager to get it in so I can go watch the parade before I miss it all. So, so far it's definitely like an icy, gravy icy. Mm. Let us to pour that around the turkey. Let's go. Now, in some of my meals, I like to submerge my meat as much as I can because... Dad has a hard time too with food, so we just basically, you know, cook everything in a lot of liquids. That's not going to happen today because the turkey actually goes up past the edge. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take a couple of these soup cans. I'm going to do whole soup with half of a can of water in each of these to keep it thick. So let's get that going there. Okay, here's our... First one here, just to kind of show you, I did the cream of chicken and to give you a kind of consistency because, you know, soup is usually about twice as thin as this because you use a whole can of water or milk to your can of soup. But that's part of the secret of our yummy gravy. I'm going to do the same thing with the cream of mushroom, so you get the idea, right, folks? And then we'll go from there. Normally I would use this array of spices, but I am a little concerned that it's all just going to stick to my lid. So, I mean, if I actually absolutely had to choose, and let's say I can only choose a couple of them, right? Well, first and foremost, I would reach for this. Bless you, Squinny. Bless you, little man. I would definitely reach for the smoked paprika. I love this stuff. I put it on everything. I think I'm also going for the parsley. Mmm, parsley. Hmm, if I could only pick one more, which would it be? Hmm, I think I'm going to go for the Italian seasoning. I love the way that it just leaves the extra flavors. So let's go put the rest of our little ensemble away. Good night, spicy. Let's get these going. And obviously, you know, you can put up whatever spices you like, whatever you love the most. Okay, here it is with a little bit of Italian, some parsley, and I couldn't help myself. I did a little bit of pepper. All right, so the finishing touches here is with this 
fine smoked paprika. This stuff comes out just like powder. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be so good. Definitely gives it that smoky, almost like a barbecue flavor. I'm telling you, man, this stuff is perfect, especially for your uh, deviled eggs. It gives them a completely different flavor. All right. Thanks so much for watching this, folks. We really hope you enjoyed it. We might kick back in later to show you the finished deal here. But uh, we really hope everybody has a safe holiday, and we'll see ya. Hello, and welcome back. These are our sides for tonight and the Thanksgiving meal that we're preparing here. I put these green beans in actually an hour before the end of dinner. And I'm going to prep this right now. So, we'll get her going and I'll see you back here in a few. Okay, here's what 12 hours has done to the turkey and the soup. So, we're going to get it out of there now, carve it up, and we'll get back with you in a moment. Alright, look what we got. We got, I think we bought a half a turkey and we put it in a, in a crock pot, right? Yeah. There's half, there's some left over and this is what we got plated up. Green beans, stuffing, turkey, same thing. We put some gravy on, but I don't want to show you that mess. All right, should we try it? Do you want to try it? Let me know what it think it tastes like. Grab some of that. All right, we're just gonna get a piece. Rah! Mm -hmm. Mmm, that's good. Tastes like it was cooking for 12 hours? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Nice and tender. All right. Very yummy. We're going to gravy it up. Thanks for stopping by, you guys. This is what we did for Thanksgiving. All right. We'll put this up in a day or two. See what you think. Later.